Hey guys, this time's a tutorials on gradients. So, once you have Photoshop open, um, you should make sure your background layer is selected. And once that's selected, you can then go and choose a gradient tool. Now, if you have CS5, uh, the gradient tool might look like the fill bucket, the paint bucket. Now, in that case, you just right click the paint bucket and your gradient tool is just waiting there for you to click on it. Now, once you have your gradient tool selected, um, you can choose your colors by selecting the big rectangle of color here. Once you've done that, you can select two colors. You can select one here by just clicking on a random color. Let's do it in a nice color. And you can select your second color by clicking up here. Now, once you have both your colors, you just press OK. And then you click and drag wherever you want on the page. Now, a great tip, um, hold down shift while you click and what that does is it ensures that you have a straight line no matter what. Now, when, come, when it comes to choosing your colors, um, try and choose colors that complement each other. The last thing you want to do is choose something like blue and uh, red because then that will look a bit odd yeah so maybe go for kind of a light blue well in this instance anyway I'll go for a light light blue with a darker blue just stick to colors in the same kind of color range let's see how that looks oh and when I do my gradients I often make sure that my lighter color is on the left and my darker color is on the right so that when I do my gradient and I usually start about a quarter of the way down so from about here I'll just drag it down to the bottom. That kind of gives you a, a nice gradient of blue. Now, once you've experimented and kind of created the gradient you want, you can save your gradients. And how you do that is by just clicking Save. Um, just rename your gradient. I'll just call mine Light. And blue. Or what you can do is just click. You can give it a name here if you want. Light and dark blue. And then you just click new. And what that does, it just saves it automatically to your presets. So you can use it whenever you want again. Um, is there anything else I need to tell you? Uh, I don't think so. Just make sure you experiment with your gradients, saving presets that you like. Um, that's the only way you're going to get confident with Photoshop. And if this tutorial helped you out, just make sure you subscribe. Cheers.